CSI 2140 Analyze Mode Overall Up to 4 Channels My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and this video tutorial explains you how to collect in the Analyze Mode up to 4 channels overall values simultaneously with the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer This is a home screen of the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer to collect overall values, go to the Advanced Analyze with F7 and select here Manual Analyze F1. The first thing to check now is F1 Set Analyze Mode and make sure that you have selected here Overall. F2 Set Overall Mode. There are two different modes here the 1 till 80 kilohertz means that he will measure the full frequency range of the analyzer and calculate the overall from the full frequency range or you can specify manually an f min and an f max the exact f min and f max frequencies and the averages can be set in f3 set spectra parameters for example i want to measure from 0 till 1000 Hz with 4 averages. F4 set number of points means that he will collect 300 data points in time. And F5 set time. I put here one second, that means he will collect every second a data point and this for 300 points, so the total length will be 300 seconds. Set collection mode can be continuous or non-continuous. Non-continuous means he will collect 300 points and stops automatically. Continuous means after the 300 points he will still continue taking data collection and override the first batch of points. F9 set alarm level. All the values are zero. First of all, I will collect data without alarms. So if all the numbers here are zero, the alarm is disabled. Secondly, I will Activate the alarm levels and we'll show you the result in live. F11 set time span is specified here till 10 seconds. That means that during monitor the signals, you will see only a time window of 10 seconds. However, he will measure 300 seconds long in this configuration. So during the live acquisition you only see the last 10 seconds but as soon as the acquisition is over finished he will show you the full range of 300 seconds. Input setup F12 here you can specify how many channels that you want to use F1 select input so here you can specify if you want to have one, two, three or four channels and F7 sensor setup here you can specify what type of sensor that you're using in this example we are working with an accelerometer 100 millivolt per engineering units power on that is a typical configuration for a normal accelerometer channel B is identical channel C and D also so the four sensors are correctly configured input data for the four channels you can toggle between G's so acceleration velocity displacement or the sensor units that would be in this case G's as well and now the data collection is started at the bottom you see for the four channels the overall value at every moment in time and you see a plot for every input channel. As explained before, 
The total time that you see here, the display time is only 10 seconds, however, he will measure for 300 seconds. If you go to switch plot type F6, you can toggle between only seeing channel A, channel B, channel C, channel D, or all four together. Even if you have only one channel active, you still see the actual data on the four channels here at the bottom. As soon as you st stop the data, you will see the full range. So now we have collected data for the last 53 seconds and you can store the data in the job mode. Now I will show you how it looks if you are using alarms. So go back to F1 setup menu, go to F9 alarm levels and specify alarm levels. For example, on input A, I want to have an alarm level of 4, B, 4, C, 4 and D, 4 as well. Now I collect data again. And now you see for certain channels we are below alarm and for certain channels we are above alarm. Now if I switch off the motor so I measure a shutdown, you will see the result of the overall value immediately. Or I start the machine again. and I stop the data collection and this was the overall value when the machine was running the shutdown, the start up and this for your four channels this can be for example on the motor your two bearing locations in two radial directions if you go now to switch plot type you can also change the format of your data plot data is now stacked you can also change it to quad and then you have the plots like this. If you go now to F9 store data, you can store the data in a job mode. We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.